Hi guys, we are here for our Wonder Trek class, but we're actually going to start with some math. Dana is joining me today. Hi. So you'll have two to see, but we're going to start with our mat work, but kind of using the chair a little bit. So I want you to lie down. We're going to go for 100. doesn't matter how much spring you have because we're not going to move the pedal. And we're just going to lie down on your back. And just have your feet on the pedal, whatever's comfortable for you. And I want you to just take a breath here to start and kind of feel where you are on your mat. And I want you to take your legs, don't pull the pedal, but I almost feel like you're taking the pedal and kind of pulling it a little towards you. And you'll feel your kind of curve and your low, low back. I want you to try to maintain that. You're gonna reach your arms. We're going for our 100. We're gonna keep our legs here. We're gonna keep them engaged. So curl your head and shoulders up. Kind of pull the pedal towards you and you're gonna inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep reaching, inhale, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You got two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale, and bring it all the way down. Now we're just going to see if we can do our roll-ups from here. So keep your legs connected, curl the head and shoulders up, Pull into it, whoa, and then rolling up. Reach for your pedal, and then roll all the way back down. And inhale back. Just find a pace that works for you. Try to keep the back line connected by just that kind of little feeling of pulling the pedal towards you. It's almost like you have your strap on your mat. Pulling into that pedal. You're not finding your tight spots. Are you finding your tight spots? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and do one more here. Rolling up. Oof. Reaching. And then we're going to roll all the way down. Nice. And then go ahead. Bring yourself up. And we're going to swivel around and do our rollover using our chair. So just make sure. You are not having your head on your chair. And then just grab wherever it's comfortable for you on your pedal. Make sure you don't pull it down onto your head. Legs reaching long. And we're just gonna bring the legs to the sky. So for our rollover, I want you to try as best as you can to get your feet to the middle of your chair. So you're gonna engage that pedal, lift the hips up, reach, Open the width of your chair and roll back down. And only take you the legs where you can keep all that connection. Reach it back. Keep looking up towards the sky. Just find a pace that works for you. I don't care if your feet are pointed or flex. Mine are tending to want to cramp up. <laughs> and then you'll reverse after three. Same thing. Try to really go to the middle of your chair. Keeping the connection of a gentle pull of your pedal, but not a real pull because I don't want to whack our head with it. And one more. And then bring it all the way down. Now we're going to keep our arms here and take one leg up to the sky. And let's just start with a little one leg tick tock. So you're going to take that leg, reach it across your body and pull it back. And again, you've got a hold of your pedal. Don't let it get lost. Keep both shoulders down and reach. And now let's go for that full circle. Take it across, down and up. Keep thinking about that leg on your mat. Keep pulling gently to feel that upper, upper on your mat. Do two more here, pointed or flexed. Doesn't matter, but keep both legs engaged. One more. Mm -hmm. And then we'll reverse. Open around. Woo! Breathing. 
thing. It feels good to move. And one more. And then bring that leg down. You may need to readjust. And let's do a little TikTok first across. Remember, it's a different side, different range. Keeping especially the shoulder of the leg that's rotating across connected to your mat. You might have to pull a little more on that side of your pedal. Now we're going for that full circle here. Across, down and around. Inhale. And get a little momentum where you have to kind of stop it at the top. Keep reaching into that other leg. Ooh, I lost count. I think we have one more. And reversing. Across and pulling back. Nice. Keep thinking about that leg on the floor. Let's do two more here. One more, looking good. And then bring it back down. Let go of your pedal. You should be okay. Roll up, pull your knees in. You should be fine. Just watch your chair. You're gonna go, <laughs> everyone, let me for it a little bit. And let's roll back. Good, just nice ball, whatever it is for you. And really feel the legs take you back. Head brings you forward. Oh, one more. Good. Now we're gonna challenge a little. So just cross your ankles. <laughs> Put your feet on the floor and see if you can stand up without using your arms. If you can. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, we're coming to our bench. So I'm gonna adjust for you guys. We're going to be on our bench. And I want you to sit at the edge. So this is a little, uh, Kathy Grant, lovely care work here. So what I want you to think about when you lie down is I want your kind of booty to almost be off the bench to where you have to continually curl it so it doesn't like fall into the well. So hold on to your chair. We're gonna go into our single and double leg. So just so you're, you know, the minute you're down, you're kind of in it. So grab one leg and reach the other. Keep that curl and we'll go right into that down one leg, inhaling and exhaling. And keep thinking of the rear end, not dropping down into the basement, as Kara likes to say, <laughs> but curling up. Good, inhale and exhale. Do one more each leg. And then bring both knees in. Here's the hard part, don't let that drop into the well and pull it back in. So think if you were on the mat, right? You've got to keep that curl as you go. Inhale, reach, exhale. Two more. Nice, reach those legs. Ooh. Now very carefully because you're kind of hanging off. Hold on to your bench, make sure you come up without dropping down, yeah. And then we're gonna come back to our mat and we're gonna lie on our mat. So here's the thing for now. We're gonna do a little bit back into the Kathy Grant with our shoulder bridge. So we're going to have our feet on the pedal here and really feel the connection of pushing into the pedal. So I'm gonna have two low springs and we'll kind of go with that. But you kind of pick what works for you and we may end up being a thing for if you need to change it. It just depends on the day. So let's just see. I want you to see if you can bring the pedal down and hold it down. And keep your hips down. Whoa! Yeah? That's good? Mm -hmm. Now keep that down and push your hips up to the sky. Oh, getting a cramp. Hello. There we go. It's okay if we get cramps. And then try to roll it down, keeping the pedal down. Almost feel that same sensation of pulling the pedal towards you as well as pushing down and then lift the hips up, open up the chest. And then rolling 
back down. We just have one more here. Pressing up. And then rolling back down. Carefully bringing the pedal up. Pull your knees in. All right. We're now hitting the chair for some work. On the chair. So I think we're gonna do Kathy Grant's version of footwork. So maybe go to two middle. If you wanna go to two top, you can. And let's grab, I'm gonna grab this grippy because it was dirty. All right. There we go. Okay, so here we go. You're going to sit at the edge like we normally do. So here's the thing, we're first gonna find all our containers and we're gonna move from there. But each time we change our feet, we're gonna keep the pedal to the metal, meaning all the way down. <laughs> so find your heels together, toes apart, and push the pedal down. You may need to adjust your sitting position. You may need to adjust your feet but arms can be wherever you want and see if you can push the pedal into the floor and find your containers being stacked, head, shoulders, ribs, hips. And then see if you can maintain 50% of your weight in pedal and bench. And then you're gonna pull the pedal all the way up without those containers shifting. And then just press where you can. So it's not all the way back to the ground, it's just where you can, keeping that 50-50 inhaling and exhaling up trying to keep you can have the hands crossed behind behind the head but just feeling and just because we're a little bit less with the Kathy Grant in the spring you, you'll probably go down further but again we want to bring it all the way back up yeah and just do two more here one more and then push it all the way down keep it down as you go to arches hip width apart yeah we're shaking and find those containers again and then lift the pedal up all the way to close that spring and back down and lift all the way up and down nice Keep thinking about where your containers are. Head, shoulders, ribs, everything is you can. Bringing the pedal all the way up. Good, and just do one more here. And then press it all the way down as you take it to your heels. <laughs> ah, find those containers again and lift the pedal up and push down and see do you still have that 50 50 working for you is that still happening and where are our containers then inhaling making sure to bring it all the way up to the top two more here one more and then push it all the way down and bring the balls of your feet back onto it and heels together or heels apart, whichever one you want to do. I'll let you choose. Then keep your pedal down and lower your heels and lift your heels. Ooh, keep your container stacked and don't let your pedal move. <laughs> and lower and lift. And just really feel the opposition of pushing the pedal and staying tall. And then bring that pedal all the way up. That was fun, yes? Oh, okay, we love Kathy Grant. Take your little grippy away, and we're gonna go for our push down front. So let's go ahead and change your spring to one high or one medium, whatever works for you. And I want to make sure you guys can see everything. So we're just adjusting as we go. You can have your heels together or heels apart, whatever feels like it's going to work for you today. 
and we can always adjust where we are in space. But reach your arms towards your sky, roll down and just find your pedal. Just find it, don't let it get lost. Now, shift 50% of your weight into your arms, push your legs into the floor. Think about a whole footwork we did of Kathy Grant and see if you can find that same connection with your floor. Lower the head between your arms and think of if you had a tail, that tail coming towards your head. Maintain all that. Push the pedal down where you can without that changing. And then bring it all the way back up. Keep pushing that pedal away no matter where you are in that move. Try to find that 50-50 and keep it there. Try to keep thinking like you're doing with your head, maybe a, maybe like a headstand. So the head is constantly trying to do a headstand on your floor and think you're reaching the head towards the floor. Now I want you to push down where you can, maintain all that, hold, and you're gonna bend your elbows in towards your body, bring the pedal up as high as you can without whacking your head. If you can close the spring, great. Push it away, but keep your elbows drawing towards each other. Inhale and exhale. Really think about pushing the pedal away and going deeper into that like elephant feeling. And do one more, keep the elbows in closed. Arms will be straight and you're gonna roll it up. Keep that 50-50 as best as you can. Push into the floor with those legs as you bring your arms and reach towards the sky. Whee! Now I'm going for one arm. So go ahead, find the pedal. Take one arm, you can take it off to the side, behind your head, whatever works for you. Find that 50-50 and push the pedal down. And back up. Ooh, so you might feel one leg wants to unweight. You might feel a little hip trying to rotate. So see, what do you got to do to keep those even? One more here. Then hold it down and do the same bend of that arm that you did with both. And reach. And same connection. Oh, wow. Inhale and exhale. Now both arms are straight and roll all the way up. And bring both arms to the sky and we'll switch. So roll down, find the pedal. One arm out to the side, find that 50-50 again. Headstand with the head and push down. Make sure you bring that pedal all the way back up. And again, this might be a completely different side, but that's okay. Two more here. Ooh. And of course, on this one, we'll press it down and bend and extend. And I am on my bad arm, so I'm doing the best I can. How's it going, Dana? Let's go when she says. One more, and then all the way up. Bring both arms to reach in towards the sky. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna go in our seated side stretch. So let's, let's place the weight the same. And is your spring behind you or in front of you? Yeah, it's good, okay. okay. So kind of play with it. Uh, Kathy Grant liked it to be behind you to kind of feel that arm connection. So if that's something you really want to feel, that might change it for you. But when you turn around, you can see the difference. So just see where your spring is and when you change sides, how it affects your body. So you can have both knees pulling in <laughs> or legs long, whatever works. I'm going to do bent today. One arm is towards the sky, and I want you to keep your ear to that arm and just find the pedal. Now from here, don't move the pedal, but see if you can take 50% of your weight into that arm. See, I'm gonna lift out of it. Keep your ear close to this arm. 
keep squeezing those legs together and you're just gonna push the pedal away where you can keep lifting away from it and back up. Inhale, keeping that 50-50 the whole time. So as you come up, you're, you're not going back all the way over your bench. You're just coming up to that 50-50 again. So you should feel that bottom side really having to lift, 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 lift. It's almost like you're pulling the pedal towards you or towards the bench. Keep squeezing those legs together. Do one more. And then all the way, bring both arms up and we'll swivel to the other side. So you can see our back now. <laughs> all right, so same thing, legs can be long, find your pedal. And then just find that 50-50, lifting up, up, up. And where are your containers? Are they still stacked, but in a little different way? And think about keeping that ear close to your arm, keeping that 50-50, and really pushing the pedal away even as you come back up. Inhaling over, squeezing those legs together. Different side, two more. And one more. And bring it all the way up, let go of the pedal, reaching the arms up to the sky and down. Okay, so the next one we're doing is reverse swan. I'm a little iffy on this one, so I may end up getting up and just coaching. <laughs> Lovely Dana. But I think you can keep it at the top one. It's kind of one of those, it depends on the day, or you can go to the middle. I'm gonna go to the middle for me today, but if you need more, you can go to the top, but just kind of play with it. So you're gonna sit kind of towards the front so that your back will hit the mat. And then just bring your legs up like you're gonna do your rolling back, but don't. And then from here, see if you can just find the pedal. And this is what I want you to think about here. Externally rotate your arms and really kind of open up your chest because this is like a swan, right? So we're not gonna round down, we're actually gonna lift up. You're just gonna go where you can go. So from here, I want you to think of that 50-50 again. And as you push the pedal away, lengthen your legs. Yep, I can't do this one, so I'm gonna go to Dana. <laughs> and then pull it back in. Okay. And then reach, push the pedal away so that you're going flat as you can, out into space, and back up. Yeah, so think as you push the pedal down, you're going into extension, opening up your chest, looking back behind you, legs reaching long as where you can, and then pulling it all the way back in. So this is challenging to keep thinking of the reach of your legs away and counterbalance of your weight. So you have to find that 50-50, because if you don't, the legs aren't gonna go. You've gotta push the pedal. Find that 50-50, you just got one more. Pushing the pedal, think of extending up into your swan as you go out, and then back in, and rest. Yeah, those are challenging, yeah. So we're gonna go now into backward arms. So go ahead, Let's go with a top spring if you can. And you're just gonna sit, I'll move this so you guys can see better, in front of your chair. And I don't care if you wanna have your fingers facing you or away, whatever's comfortable. Take your pedal and press it down. Keep reaching your legs long. Again, can't do this one. <laughs> not happening for me today. So keep thinking that you're pushing the pedal into the floor and growing tall and find your containers stacked. Don't let them get lost and reach your legs long. Think of 50% of your weight is in your pedal, 50% is on your booty, and you're gonna lift the pedal where you can without letting those containers shift. So keeping the reach and the whole back lifting up and not letting our thoracic or our upper back round or our rib cage pop out, keeping it all there 
every time you push down, grow taller. And do one more here. Nice. Carefully bring your hands off your pedal and we're gonna swivel around. Good, so we're going into our seated spine stretch here. Let's keep the weight the same. So depending on your chair, if it's comfortable and you can kind of squeeze into it, great. If not, if it's a little awkward, don't worry about it. And I want you to just have your hands as fully connected as you can. It can make you like be leaning a little forward. You can be up tall, but I don't want you to be kind of back behind. So from here, don't let anything change. Meaning, keep that length. And I want you just to pull the pedal to see if you can go taller. And then bring it back up. So feel the connection of kind of pulling down with lifting up. Think you have 50% of your weight in your arms on that pedal and 50 again on the floor with the booty. Bring the pedal all the way up every single time. Good. Now, it's a little different than our spine stretch on the floor because we're not really going forward. We're actually going back. But I want you to think that this is getting that lift that we want. So pull again. Now use that to continue to feel like you're lifting as you just curl a bit. Now I have you all on pretty heavy springs, so it's not a huge movement. And I want you to think that no matter where you are in this seated spine stretch, you are keeping that chest expansion of when you first pull the pedal so when you round, yes, your head's going, your tail is going, but you're not losing that feeling in those arms and that back. Bring the pedal all the way to the top again to release. Breathing as you go, inhaling, growing tall. So it's not a huge and really feel the shoulders in your back and not letting your chest cave in on you. Good. And rest. All right. Let's keep the weight the same and go for our chest lift. So come up and you're going to go around to the back of your bench. We'll see how this weight goes. Shall see. Think this is the front of your bench, this is the back, and we're going to be right in the middle. And we're just gonna come to the middle, press it down. And just stay here for a moment and push the pedal into the ground. Really push it and think the head is going towards the wall in front of you and reach your legs so that your hips connect to your chair. From there, keep that 50-50 and let the head come up. Then maybe the chest will lift. Think of still pushing the pedal away, but you're also pulling it towards you legs reaching, hips pressing in. Go where you can go. And then bringing the pedal all the way back down. Don't lose that 50-50 and the head going back to the wall in front of you. So your nose is to the floor. Then you're gonna look up first, pull the pedal, push into it, let the chest lift. Think about that same feeling you had in your spine stretch. Open chest. And then all the way back down. And we're breathing. One more here, push, head comes first, open that chest, all the way back down. We're gonna add our arm pumps, are we ready? Yeah, let's go for it. So let the head come up, let the chest come up. Go where you can go, hold. Can you bring the pedal all the way up without losing that and push it away? So as you bend and push away, don't let anything change. Think of your pulling straps. Good. Two more here. Elbows again, staying in as close as you can. And then arms will be long and all the way down. I think we'll feel our triceps tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Now, can we do one arm? So place one arm on your chair. Watch your hips. Try to keep them level. Bring the arm more towards the center of your pedal. And then take the other arm out and do the same chest lift, just where you can. 
it's going to be a little smaller and back down and then lift oh. and lower <laughs> one more and then all the way to the floor and switch those arms same thing let the head come first keep that 50 50 oh and what's happening with those hips can we keep them level breathing through nice one more here bring it all the way down and let's carefully slide off Whew. give it a little stretch good job all right so we're going to go ahead into our horseback yay so let's keep the weight the same and just sit on your bench all right so depending on your chair kind of just figure it out for yourself and if you need more or less weight go for it let's go ahead and lengthen our legs so just remember the minute we find that pedal and get in position we're already on our horseback everything else is just gravy so i want you to just find your pedal you're still kind of sitting on your booty it's fine i feel like we might need more weight yeah yeah let's go with too low i think that might be a little not enough for us to really fire into i'm sorry too low yeah too low seems better How's that feel for you, Miss Dana? Much better. Yeah, much better. Okay, so again, play with your weight. All right, so just place your hands fully on. Now, this is what I want you to do. The minute we get there, we're working. So, find your 50-50. So, shift your weight forward to where you have 50% of your weight in your arms. Push the pedal without pushing the pedal. So, find your elephant, find your horseback and then push the pedal down, not losing that. Keep reaching the legs. And then all the way back up, keeping that 50-50. Inhaling as you push, keep reaching those legs. All the way back up. Not letting that get lost. Inhale. Are your legs shaking? My legs are shaking. <laughs> One more. And then all the way up and sitting here. Yeah, my legs were vibrating there. Okay, let's change your weight to one high spring and we'll walk around to the back. So I'm gonna maneuver you guys for push down from the back. Push down back. So yeah, we'll go with one. Okay. So again, you can have your heels together. You can have parallel legs whatever works for you have your feet close to the edge of your wonder chair just make sure it's comfortable bring your arms up and let's just find the pedal first so just find that pedal so kind of feel where you are in space we're not going to let the pedal drop See if you can take 50% of your weight into your arms without dropping the pedal. Ooh, and keep your heels connected to each other on the floor. Try to maintain that. Push the pedal where you can, wherever that is. Let the head do that headstand again like it did in the push down front. And then pull up, 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 all the way, keeping that 50-50, and all the way down. And then pulling up, up, up. And are we even in both feet? Are we pushing evenly with both arms? And can you keep that 50, 50? And one more here. And then bring it all the way up. Still where you are, see if you can take your right arm to the center and your left arm out. Keep that 50-50 and we'll go down and up again. Keep seeing where can you be. So just keep readjusting. Keep making sure the heels are connected to each other and your floor. One more. Make sure you're bringing the pedal 
all the way back up and you'll switch arms. Whee. Find that 50-50 again and going where you can go, different side. <laughs> yeah, there's more challenging sides. What about you, Dana? Mm -hmm. And then up, up. Okay, inhaling. And then bring both hands, almost at feet, to the pedal. And we'll roll all the way up. And then reach down. Okay, come around to sit on your chair. We're going for tabletop. So again, this one might be funky for me. My shoulder's not in a happy place, but we'll just go with what we got and same for Dana. Okay, I did two top, two top. You can do two middle, but I want you to have a lot of support and hands are behind you. So let's just kind of think about our arm position here and really feel like, cause your fingers are kind of wrapped under Feel like you're kind of making more weight into your pinky, so really opening up that chest and place your feet on your pedal. And your pedal is up. So we're just gonna find our position, whatever it is today, and kind of play with it from there. So don't let your pedal smash down. So you gotta think about our rolling ball that we did, our rolling back earlier, and keeping your heels pulled in. Push into those arms, lift your hips up. Don't worry about where you are yet. And then as best as you can, find your 50-50. So move forward where you can without the pedal dropping and lower back down. So for me, my 50-50 is different today. See where you are, because no one can tell you where that is. And then do that again, lift the hips up, open up your chest, find that 50-50. Can you hold that and then lower and pull the heels up without letting anything change. Do two more. One more. And rest. Whew, that was good. All right. Let's skip the one leg <laughs> and go for tendon stretch. So let's keep the weight the same. Just like our Kathy Grant footwork, I want you to just kind of stand, but we're actually going to stand up. So here's the thing with your foot position. It really depends on leg length where you are. I like to be on the balls of my feet with my heels together, but if you need to be more on your arches, you can be more on your arches. Let your head hang like it's gonna do a headstand again. Look towards your hips. Now, don't move your pedal, but push the pedal into the floor and push your bench away with your arms and keep that feeling and find 50-50. I want it to be where you're in your 50-50 and it feels like the pedal's gonna like lift up, but you're pushing it down. And then from there, keep that 50-50, keep pushing the pedal down, but see if you can lift your hips, but still keep pushing the pedal away, keeping that 50-50. And then don't let your 50-50 change and push the pedal down without shifting weight forward to do it. <laughs> That's hard. And then do that again. 50-50 up, right? So as you push down, don't shift weight out of that 50-50, but you gotta push the pedal down with your legs. Keep letting the head in that handstand. Two more if you can. Whew. And then push, push, push. And one more, just going where you can go without losing it. And then sitting all the way down. So good. Okay, we're gonna go for going up prep and going up side, so we'll prep for side. We'll keep the weight the same. How's everyone's balance? We'll see how it is. So you're just gonna go, we'll face this way first, Dana. Okay. And just place the pedal down and we'll place the foot towards the back. So let me readjust the camera for you guys. So everyone is different in terms of our rotation. So as best as you can, you wanna have both hips straight ahead. So you may have to turn out your leg on the pedal a little more. You might need to figure out your foot on the bench to keep that knee from kind of dropping in. And we want our hips to be as best as we can straight ahead. Hands can be behind your head, wherever's comfortable for you. Let's not move the pedal here. 
but I want you to just see if you can kind of find a 50-50, but keep the pedal pushing down like you did in your tendon stretch. And see if you can think about pulling your legs towards each other and see if you can do that 50-50 and maybe just float the pedal like an inch off. And see if you can hold that and get more 50-50 without losing the pedal and then all the way down. <laughs> you ready? Mm -hmm. So find that 50-50 again. So it's almost like you're dragging the heel on the bench towards the back leg and the leg on the pedal towards the bench. And then once you get it a little bit off, see if you can again see if you're still 50-50 and come back down. If all is good, we'll move from here. If not, keep it where you are. And you're gonna find that 50-50, scissor those legs, and just going straight up where you can. You might have to adjust your foot. And then pressing all the way down, keeping that 50-50 and making sure all our containers as best as you can are nice and stacked. So just think your head's going straight up. We're not going off over the bench. Pulling those legs together like you're being sucked up a straw. Continuing to push the pedal away. <laughs> One more. How's the balance going back there? <laughs> it's being challenged. It's being challenged. And then bring it all the way down. Woo! And we'll turn to the other side, carefully. And again, it's a different side, so I'm gonna have to step off because I wasn't properly set up. Okay, sometimes you have to step off again. All right, are we ready? So find your position here, different side. See if that top knee, if you can keep it open. So it's gonna work lovely back in. And just see if you can scissor to lift maybe an inch off. And then back down. <laughs> Dana's like, what? And Dana, maybe externally rotate that leg on the pedal a little bit. There we go. If there's no movement, how can we? If there's no movement, that's fine. Just go in where we can go. Now, keep it where you need to on this side. If you can go up like you did Great, if not, don't cheat. See if you can find those connections. My legs are shaking. And think you're pulling the heel on the bench towards the pedal, the pedal towards the bench. One more, wherever that is for you. And bring it carefully off, carefully off. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna move this a little bit. And we are going to lie down for a little frog lying down. Oh, we definitely want to change our spring. You guys are almost done. Um, let's try two bottom. I like two bottom. If you don't, you can always change it. but I want it to be enough that you're having to really use your arms and use your hips pushing down. So lie down, soles of your feet are together, and just see your setup, if it's okay for your knees and your hips, because you're gonna pull the pedal all the way down. So just make sure you're in a good position there. Keep the soles of your feet together, arms in your mat, and feel where your hips are on your mat and try to keep them from rocking and rolling or unweighting. And I want you to think the pedal comes towards you first, then it goes down. So think of pulling the pedal towards you and then pushing it down, arms and head stay, and then open your knees up and then think the pedal's coming up and going away from you. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. So same thing, just take it at your pace. You're pulling it towards you and down. Keep your hips heavy, use those arms. Open up the knees as much as you can. So it's really about keeping that stability 
<laughs> my socks are slippy. In your hips, shoulders, keeping those containers on your mat, opening up as best you can at the bottom. And we'll do one more here. Rolling down to the mat, opening up, and then carefully back up. Pull your knees in, give a little stretch. Good job. Let's bring it up and let's go into a little, let's do some corkscrew. So you can keep your spring where it is because you're not gonna go anywhere beneath the pedal and lie down. Let's do the full core screw, up and over. Are we ready for it? If not, then don't, keep it, keep it down. You don't have to go up and over, but think of our rollover when you took your legs, and we're gonna do the same thing, but then we're gonna jackknife rolling down. So legs are up, find that connection with your arms, you've worked them a lot, go into that rollover. Once you hit jackknife up, roll down one side, Circling down. If you're going up, if not, don't worry about it. Just keep it out of the shoulder bridge version. Or shoulder stand, I should say. Shoulder bridge. Shoulder stand version. And then up. Rolling down one side. So you've got the pedal to kind of pull into, right? And then jackknife up. I think this is even. Rolling around. And then on the last one, Go straight down your center, or just make sure you're even. And bring those legs all the way down. Nice. And let's roll yourself up. Give yourself a stretch, reach for your feet. Give it a little stretch. And then let's go ahead. Let's finish up with, oh, let's give it a choice. A little Achilles tendon stretch. Or should we do maybe a little arm frog? We're gonna do Achilles tendon stretch. I think that's a good choice. So I have to, I'm gonna go for two middle. You can, do, you can keep it where it is if you want, but I do want you to have enough that when you flex that foot, it actually physically shakes it a bit. So we want that kind of really shaky area there. So find your little diamond shape of your hands, but leave room for your knee. Take your foot pointed so your heel is lifted. And you're gonna push the pedal down with a lifted heel. Connect your knee. And then you're gonna flex and push the pedal away. Really flex. So dropping your heel as far as you can is the work, and then push the pedal away. But you may feel this in the quad, you may feel it around your knee, you may feel it in the Achilles tendon. Just kind of depends on what's happening there. Good, and one more here. And then carefully, that one shook, bring it up and we'll switch. So same thing, pointed foot, push it down, knees connected, and lower. And see as you do this, are you keeping your weight even through the ball of the foot? Breathing it around, just a normal breath, whatever works for you. This side might be completely different, two more. Last one. Good. And then breath. I think let's go ahead and just sit on the floor. Sit on the floor. However you want to sit. Let's sit. We'll just sit facing this way. And just kind of shake out our arms. That was a lot of arms. And my quads were shaking on the Achilles tendon. All right. So just kind of rock on your sit bones kind of over exaggerating and then kind of rock forward and back in space and then just like we did in the very beginning with our footwork see if you can find all your containers being stacked 
and relaxing your shoulders, letting them just kind of glide away from your ears. And then just closing your eyes and just start breathing. Just nice deep breath. Don't like force it, but just breathe normally. And then go ahead, stay where you are, shoulders relaxed, and just turn your head in one direction. Don't force it, just where you can. Back to the center and then to the other direction. Again, keeping shoulders relaxed, not letting them get lost. And do one more each direction. And then go ahead, just let the head, we'll do a little subway head, so don't think too hard about it though. But just kind of let your head drop forward, your shoulders drop forward. And then back up tall. And then again, like if you were in the subway, as Kathy Grant would say, and you just kind of start to fall asleep. Gravity's kind of passively taking you. And one more. Each time coming back to sitting tall in your chair. Good. And then just roll your shoulders back a few times. We made it. Good job. Good. That was awesome. All right. So there's your wonder chair workout. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yay.